That fish just slurped it down. And that is a big moment, guys. First bass in my new native Slayer Propel 10. Just got it today, took it out this afternoon. Missed a couple fish already. Post spawn fish, got her on the frog, just slurped it down. I'm gonna get a picture of this fish and uh, get her on the release, release. There's a big thunderstorm developing to our north. There's a cluster of them over there, but I've checked the radar and it seems like they're moving on a northerly direction. So if I see anything starting to develop over there, we'll have to watch, but there's a big convection line right here and it's all moving that way though. So I have to keep an eye on it. All right guys, goes the release of this bass. Long skinny fish. That's like an eight, a 17, 18 inch fish, but it's got no weight to it. All spawned out. See you later. Big bass. Oh my god. I knew there'd be one in there. Right after missing that big blow up. I got him. I got him though. There's a good bass. It's a good blow up too. Right off that beaver dam. Nice two and a half pounder, two pounder or so. I gotta change this GoPro battery. Man guys, I'm missing a lot of hits today. I'm just fishing too fast. Alright, frogs out. That's a solid fish. I just missed a big one in those pads over there. It was just a big suck. Let's change this GoPro battery. Another one right off that tree, guys. Oh, I threw it right there. That fish was a jumper too. Well, the hooks on these on this frog looks bent. Might have loosened it. Damn it. Couple fish off this beaver dam here. Comes another one. Not the one we want. It's three fish off that freaking beaver dam, guys. Two bass and one pickerel so far today. I think I see a bass chasing fry up here, guys. So I'm gonna throw my frog in there and see what happens. There's a fin in the water. Five pounder, five pounder. Oh my God, oh my God, it's giant. Guys, it's giant. Oh my God, oh my God. Holy crap, oh, oh my God. I got her, oh my God. Guys, this might be a PB. Oh my God. This is the fish that was spinning out of the water. <gasps> Holy crap. That's that one's bigger than the one I caught in freaking May. Oh my god guys, look where that frog's at. Did I just catch that on video? Holy crap. That is a monster freaking bass. Freaking set the hook really late, but I still got her. Oh my god, I gotta get the scale on her and I gotta weigh her. Okay guys, we're gonna get a scale on this fish. Guys, this is the first time I've taken out my Slayer Propel. I just bought it today. I picked it up this morning and came down to the lake to try it out. Top water bite's been good. I've missed a couple fish. And now I got a freaking, I'm guessing this one's over five. This is the biggest bass I've ever caught on a frog. Look at her, just look at her in the water. You see how big that fish is, guys? Now I just gotta get her on the scale and we'll send her on her way. There's the weight, guys. 
She's five and a half pounds. That is, that's the second fish over five pounds I've caught this year. Five, four, seven. Just gonna hold her in there. She's five and a half pounds. That is the biggest bass I've ever caught on a frog. Look at that bass, guys. Are you kidding me? I missed a giant in those pads over there. Five and a half pounder. There's her belly. Get a shot at her belly there. She's been eating. Look at that freaking pig. Let's get her a kiss. And we'll send her on her way. Just gonna hold her in. Just gonna chill there for a second. Oh my gosh. Guys, I have been having an incredible year for the frog. It's my favorite technique. I've caught a four and a half, five and a half, multiple threes on the frog this year. I can't say enough about this Savage Gear Lily Ninja frog. It's the best frog ever made for the money. I don't even feel like fishing anymore. Like I saw that fish's fin sticking out of the water. Threw it in there and I'm glad I waited way too long to set the hook, guys. I should have set the hook way earlier than I did. But I was lucky and she had it down her throat. Ooh. Oh, there's another one. Significantly smaller than that last one. So what happened was, guys, I started missing fish, and that frog that I had on, I was missing a lot of fish on a couple weeks ago, and uh, there's actually a bent hook point on that other frog, and it's probably from getting it snagged in a tree or on a rock or something, and uh, that might be causing me to, uh, that's probably the likely cause of why I was missing a lot of fish on that frog. So that's four bass now. Swung that pickle right into the freaking side of the kayak. There's still fish feeding over by that freaking beaver dam over there. I gotta go over there again. Big fish. Missed it. Can I see that? Fish, fish missed it. Big pickerel, guys. Oh God, he's got it swallowed. Look at the size of this pickerel, guys. He's gonna break my line. I gotta break loose in the drag. Monster pickerel. Holy crap. Caught a few of these in here. I got him. Holy shit. This thing's like five pounds. This is the area where I get these pickerel too. Holy crap. Look at that pickerel. Fat fish, he's at least four pounds, I can tell you that much. Look where that frog's at. Frog's gone. Look at the size of that pickerel, huh? Easy four pounds. Probably closer to five though. I'm not gonna. Frog's out. Huge pickerel. She goes. Oh, I'm gonna have to retie that. Every time I catch one of those, I'm fortunate to even get them in if they're that big because their teeth can cut the line really good. Freight up that 50 pound braid.